In this video, I want to show you how you can create small multiples in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through how to use it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So small multiples in a nutshell shows multiple versions of your charts that gives you an easier overview across uh, multiple categories that you have in your data. Let me show you a scenario in which small multiples would be useful. So here's a very simple Power BI report that just visualizes the total sales for a fictional company. So the fictional company sells different types of products and it has some sales across uh, different periods of time. So to visualize this, I've just imported a couple of you know basic tables uh, from this company and I've created a couple of things in advance. Like for example, I created this calendar table that is what we're using for time intelligence calculations in our data model. And I've also created a calculations measure table that just houses the total sales measure. And this measure simply multiplies the quantity and unit price for all of the orders in order to get the total sales. So from here, I want you to focus on this chart that I created, total sales by year month, which gives us the total sales across all of our different products in a period of time, so from 1996 to 1998. And we want to see, for example, the uh, total sales across the different categories of products that we have sold. And to do that, we know that to look at it individually, we just select uh, beverages, for example, this is a category in this uh, drop down filter, and it will give you the summary of all of those sales. You go to condiments, it will do the same thing, and etc. etc. And the problem with this method is that it gives you the summary of each of the categories one by one, which means that uh, although it gives you an individual view, you still need to flick through all the different categories, and it sort of doesn't give you a clear overview of all the sales broken down into those different categories. Now this is the problem that small multiples solve. So before the small multiples feature arrived in Power BI, how you would typically solve this problem is, uh, let's say we'll just copy this one for example, we'll go to a different page here. You'll go for this one for example, and then you're going to filter it by category. So this one will show, for example, just beverage sales you'll copy and paste for this one. And then this one will show a different category. And you see the problem with this is that obviously you have to manage them one by one. And also there's quite a lot of visual. And if you have a lot of categories that you want to split it by, it can be quite time consuming. So small multiples. So let's just delete this. Let's keep it to this just one visual. And let's remove that filter that we've created. To use small multiples is actually pretty simple. When you click on the visual, if it supports small multiples, you will see a small multiples well in the uh, values here. So all you need to do is drag the column you want to split your values by. So in this case, we want to just split it by um, the category. And there you go. So now what it's done is within this one visual, it's created uh, the same charts, but split into these small versions of it to show the different categories. And with small multiples, you will have a couple of options to format it. So if you go to the format pane of this visual, you will see here that you have a couple of options here. So first you can change the grid layout, for example. Uh, so maybe we'll change this to uh, four, no, or maybe like two and four, something like this, just so that we are showing all of the different categories and don't have to scroll up and down. You can change the you know different grid layouts, change the backgrounds, you can change the type of grids, um, splits that you have for the different small multiples. 
And there's tons more options to sort of play around with. So I suggest to just uh, give them a try and see what they do. And one thing to note about these small multiples is that it doesn't change the visual itself. It's just an addition to the visuals. So this means that, for example, for this visual, it's not a small multiples visual. It's a still a column chart visual with the small multiples applied to it. This means that we can customize it the same way that we would customize a normal column chart. So for example, we want to highlight, let's say, the highest or the lowest points for each of the categories that we have here. And fortunately for you, I've already created a video covering how to do it um, step by step. So if you want to learn about how to do it, go check out that video. But in this video, we're not gonna go too deep into it. So I'm just going to create a new measure and you know just paste the code that I used in that video. So I'm just gonna click enter and the code just simply highlights the highest points in our charts by green and then everything else will be gray. So uh, if we close that, you go to the small multiples uh, visual, we go to data colors, we hit the FX button here, we change it to be defined based on a field value. And the field value we want to base it on is on the highlights measure. And there you go. So now it gives you the bar charts and it highlights the highest points in these bar charts uh, dynamically. And one thing I forgot to mention is that um, column charts are not the only chart that supports small multiples. So for example, if you want to show small multiples into a line chart, uh, for example, if you just click and change that to a line chart visual, that will change those uh, charts accordingly. So now that you know how to create and use small multiples, let's discuss about the benefits of it to you as a report developer. So because these small charts are in one visual, it means that any formatting changes you apply will apply to all of the charts which means that you know the previous way that I used to do it before, um, you don't have to do that and you know handle all of those individual charts individually. You can just apply it into one because it's basically just one visual and it will get applied to all of those charts. Another thing is that because it's just one visual in a page, generally speaking, it's best practice to have as few visuals as possible in your Power BI pages to keep the performance at an optimal level. The third thing is the dynamic element of the categories. So as new categories get added or deleted in your data model, for example, uh, because you don't manage them manually anymore, the small multiples will automatically update based on the new category. So if you have let's say three more categories that you added in your products catalog, it will just get added in this list here. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start using the new small multiples feature in Power BI. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.